while we were in Portland, <laughs> checking out uh, at Locomotive 4449, yeah. uh, the beautiful SP Daylight engine there. Yes. What a lot of people don't realize is that that uh, railroad history center is right across the street from OMSI. Right. The Oregon State, the, no, the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, OMSI. OMSI. And OMSI has a lot of neat things. It was built in an old power plant. Yes. Which is pretty neat in its own right. But the coolest thing they've got there is an old submarine. And it isn't all that old, actually. No. It's a diesel-powered, fast-attack submarine. Oh, wow. Uh, equipped with the latest and greatest computer-guided weapons and so on. But eventually, the military uh, uh, retired that. It was used in the hunt for Red October. Yes. And then it was retired to um, the Museum of Science and Industry and they take people on tours. So check this out. Fun. We're just going to go for a fun little trip yes. into <laughs> the submarine. Yes. Well, of course, we were just looking at these locomotives over at the Railroad Heritage Center. 4449 and their other two engines. That was really neat. I like that. That was just cool. 4449 is just uh, amazing, amazing locomotive. It's the pride and joy here of the three engines. But right across the street is OMSI. Yes. The Oregon Museum of Science <laughs> and Industry. And uh, so we had to go over there, and of course we took your dolly, Rescue of Kelly. Of course, <laughs> she has to go with. Well, she enjoyed the locomotives, and she wanted to see the uh, Children's Museum over here, so we brought her over here, and uh, I think the high point over here is their submarine. <laughs> oh, that is just that. Oh, wow. So before they'll let you go into 581, they make you crawl through... <laughs> This opening oh, inside. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, because uh, you oh. got to get through these doors once you're inside, and they don't want you to get stuck. And, well, frankly, I got stuck just oh, just a little bit, but we managed to get in here. <laughs> we, we lived through it. All right, folks, well, welcome to our five-star hotel. <laughs> So once you're inside here, it really is like crawling inside a sardine can or something. Wow, the tight quarters. Jeez, tight Man. quarters. And and when this ship's underway, there's a lot of guys in here working on all this equipment. And gee, I, 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 it takes a special breed of person to, to work in a job like this. So these are the bunks that the guys sleep in. Oh my goodness. And uh, they take turns in shifts of three. One guy crawls out of bed and somebody else crawls right in. The other people are on duty. This is the engineering spaces where you start the uh, diesel engines and operate them from. Push this button down one time and watch that man. All right, so spin up boat. Now, they require everybody that goes in to the engine room and the engines are actually running to wear this hearing protection because they say you'll go deaf in just a few minutes. Um, so they didn't start the engines, fortunately, while we were in there. But apparently that's uh, pretty darn intense when they do. So the diesel engines run generators and air compressors. Everything here runs on either electricity or compressed air. The propellers are turned by electric motors, just like a diesel electric locomotive. This is the bridge where they steer the boat. Uh, there's one wheel for going up and down and one wheel for going right and left. These are the controls for all the different air valves. They use compressed air to push water out of the ballast tanks to make the boat go up. A rather important function. To be yes, able to I would <laughs> hope so. Get back up to the surface. What our tour guide is doing now is showing how they close all the different hatches in preparation for diving. All those lights need to show green. That indicates that all the outside doors and windows have been sealed. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing before you go underwater. All right, Captain's order would be dive, dive. Now at that point, we'll fully submerge our submarine in just over one minute. 
Of course, this is the most infamous piece of equipment on board, the periscope. <laughs> That's the one I would know. <laughs> uh, I love it as a kid, you know, ah, the periscope. Yes. Steering is a bit of a problem because you can't see where you're going and uh, communication's tricky, but it is possible to send up an antenna and uh, here's the radio room. Now this is the torpedo room and these are the really advanced Mark III wire guided computer aided torpedoes capable of sinking anything. Oh my goodness, you wouldn't want to look in the rear view mirror and see that coming after you. <laughs> I guess oh. not. They also use this room for spare bunks if they have more people than torpedoes. The idea of some of the capabilities of this torpedo. First of all, it is not target specific. We're going to use the same torpedo to attack an aircraft carrier, a submarine, or anything in between. And believe it or not... I'd hate to see one of those one. detonate accidentally. Take a look at the kitchen. Small but efficient. Now they took one of the propellers off and they've got it on display here outside. That is something to see too, it's isn't it? huge. Well, not our usual trains, but that was really fun. Oh, I like the submarine. That was really cool. Well, that's quite a submarine. I was astounded. I'm, oh, it takes a special person to be down in one of those. A small person and a very special personality. Right. To want to go underwater with, a, a, you know, 100 of your closest friends, and I do mean close. Very close. Um, and share no shower for quite some time. Like three all weeks the time or something. Being oh. underwater. Yeah. Skulking around, spying mm -hmm. on ships. Yes. Wow. What Yikes. A, what a thing to do. But yes. I'm glad there are people uh, out there yes. who want to do that. No kidding. We need them, and yes. there they are. Right. Just amazing. Mm -hmm. Just amazing. Mm -hmm. At any rate, if, uh, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel. And while you're over there, you can binge watch over mm -hmm. 300 movies on right. all kinds of different oh, yeah. things. So it's just fun. Yeah. Massive amounts of screwing around, Always. not just going underwater and living there. And the easy way to get over to the channel and become a subscriber is to click on the blue subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Boink. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> says subscribe like means what it says. It takes you to the channel yeah. as well. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here again in a few days with some more massive screwing around. <laughs> we'll see you then. See ya. Bye bye. bye.